tonight. Uh, you know, uh, at no point when I uh, entered St. Michael's 20 years ago this fall did I ever think I'd uh, be inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Uh, so I stand before you tonight truly humbled uh, for this experience. First, I want to thank everybody associated with St. Michael's College, the administration, the athletic department, um, all of the teammates I had the pleasure of playing with over the years. Looking at all the other names earlier today in the Athletic Hall of Fame, uh, it's truly a humbling experience to be part of this. You know, when I think back at the, um, my first memories of St. Michael's, the first thing that comes to mind are all the great people that I had an opportunity to meet both on and off the basketball court. I believe to this day, um, that is the reason why this place is such a special, holds a special place in my heart and always will. Some of my fondest memories uh, outside of basketball revolve around P Day in the quad, St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> taking classes in the summertime in Burlington, taking my girlfriend, now wife, Sherry, out to dinner at Lunig's Bistro on my father's credit card. <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing, but I'm so grateful to have that experience. One of my first basketball memories at St. Michael's and when I first met my classmates Mark Fizilich, Mark Mulvey, and Jay Wonky, and immediately upon meeting each other, we forged a friendship that would last forever. And when we played our first pickup game against the upperclassmen, all four of us knew that we were going to have a very, very great career. We gelled immediately, and I remember so vividly how much fun I had playing with them whether it was lifting weights, playing pickup games, practicing, all of that was part of the fabric that brought us together. And while we've all gone our separate ways, beginning our careers, starting families, unfortunately losing my, my good friend Mark Fizzlich five years ago, what makes me smile the most is when I reflect on those times that we had together. Outside of basketball, I can't help but think of all the other lessons I learned at St. Michael's College that guided me after I stopped playing and entered the career world. The support provided by St. Michael's as a student athlete truly helps you as you enter into whatever career you decide. I believe that playing on a team with 11 other individuals, meeting all the other students that are not affiliated with the basketball program, and building relationships with them truly helps you when you leave the college. The skill set that I think you learn by doing so helps provide a foundation that helps propel you to work well within a team, care more about others, and always try and help when asked, and I don't think these values can be understated. My two young boys, Liam and Henry, hope, hopefully at some point when you enter college you have the same experience that I do and all the great people that I've had a chance to meet in my college experience. I probably should have done so many years ago, but certainly I want to thank my parents, Wes and Diane. Um, like your parents, Jessica, uh, they endured many six-hour drives from New Jersey up to Vermont. <laughs> Uh, whether it was the Thursday, Saturday home games, where they would stay, they would stay here for the entire weekend, whether it was a six-hour drive to Le Moyne, uh, they were always here, and I thank you for your support. Uh, we had a few heartbreaks along the way, uh, most notably in 1996 against Bryan in the semis of the NE10 tournament. We went to Friendlies down the street, which is now closed, and we sat there in silence for two hours. Um, I don't think we'll, we'll ever forget that, but I can't thank you enough for your support, both pre- and post-college. Uh, to all the guys I played with in, in, uh, at St. Mike's, um, the cliche is, without you, I wouldn't be standing here today accepting this great honor, uh, but I think, like most cliches, they hold some truth. Uh, I think I had the opportunity to play with uh, some of the best basketball players to ever play at St. Michael's College, uh, not only with the class I came in with, but also my last freshman class of Todd Roberts, Mark Pater, and Brian Miles, and many others in between. Uh, winning games, having fun off the court is what I'll remember the most. Uh, and finally, there are two people who aren't here with us anymore who I'd like to dedicate this night to. Uh, first, my mother-in-law, Bonnie Driscoll, passed away several months ago with a long bout with cancer. Uh, she never attended a game, never saw me play, but I can assure you that she probably had the most fun in this entire room if she were here. Uh, and last, my good friend and teammate Mark Fizilich, who passed away five years ago after a long battle with leukemia. Uh, we often talked about the Hall of Fame uh, in our freshman and sophomore years and whether or not one day perhaps we would be in it. Uh, but mainly we simply enjoyed being roommates and friends. Uh, and I know that if he was here tonight, he'd be sitting in this front table right here with that big goofy smile on his face, and he'd be as proud as I am about joining the Hall of Fame. Thank you to everybody at St. Michael's College for this great honor. Um, it's a
privilege to be included in such an esteemed group, and I thank you so much.